Hey friends, welcome back to our channel. Welcome back. Today we're going to talk about this thing. We're going to do a little unboxing. This is our brand new uh, travel tea set. We Super cute travel tea set. Right, and modern and sleek looking. I'm super excited about this. Modern while simultaneously retro. <laughs> it is a television and... It looks like, no, it doesn't right? it look a little bit like 1960s luggage? It's really, uh, I oh. love it. It's really, uh, for me, it's got this vintage look. So really? I was, yeah, I find, I find, but I don't know, maybe. Uh, well, to me, it's modern. It's not the 60s really, somehow because really, it's uh, clean. Cute. Yes. Mm. Anyway, you can tell we're really excited about this. Uh, we did a video talking about, uh, you know, five camping teas that we love. And, uh, you know, you need the vessels to brew camping teas. And we do. Uh, Ever since we get started, we're into travel and tea, and we always have a travel tea set. So we're going to talk about how to use it and how to clean it. And, yeah. and as we sit using this yeah, new we're tea set. Some tea, and hopefully we will inspire you, uh, if you're not already doing it, to get out there and gong fu anywhere. Yeah. Uh, if you're new here, uh, I'm Jen from Jen Tea. And I'm Phil. And our channel covers all kinds of great stuff uh, from uh, tea travel, uh, how tea is made, how to brew tea, and much, much more. So be sure to click that subscribe button and hit the notify bell to know whenever we post a new video. All right, so the kettle just boiled and we are here uh, at Cartwright Brewery in uh, Almont, Ontario, out uh, kind of pseudo camping. Uh, we just had a fantastic tour of the brewery by the owner, Andre, a beautiful spot, and we're both really thirsty and excited to try out this new tea set. Um, so aside from the lovely case you've seen, it's got six of these gorgeous little cups, a nice tea, tea table with a bit of a modified Gong Fu Gaiwan. We'll talk more about that later and a fairly awesome little storage container. It's got a nice pop, a nice seal to it. And more exciting than the tea storage container is the tea, of course. Inside the tea container, we're gonna be brewing Bayatsivan, <sighs> one of my favorite uh, teas. <laughs> we're like um, a broken record. We just repeat this because how much we love I it. Love and this tea, it's croissant brew, <laughs> brew that on the road and... I'm going to just warm up the teaware because this is a tea that is, uh, I always love to warm up the teaware first. And we'll move that little That's roll easy. Out of the way. And I'll warm up the cups. I love the pour on this guy one. The spout is really well formed, so it's uh, drip free, very easy to do a perfect pour right down the cracks of the tea table with the extra water. <laughs> and it comes with this these fancy little tongs that if you want to uh, like pick the tea up, I'm just going to kind of scrape it out. I would normally just shake the tea. You can vessel, shake it. You don't have to I'm, bake elegant. I'm doing, a, <laughs> I'm doing a, yeah, I'm doing especially elegant just for you guys. And we'll make sure we close that up. We'll give this a little smell. Oh, this is yeah. a really delightful tea. As thirsty as I am, I'm still going to take a moment and uh, mm, no regrets. I'll let you take care of that. Mm -hmm. Ay, it's just uh, so uh, relaxing. Roasty, creamy. Yes. This you know there are teas when you are uh, about to drink it or smell it, you're like, ooh, this is not like that. Not because it's not interesting or anything. It's just, uh, it's like when I smell this, I guess because I drink that so much. And when I smell this, and I, my, my sound would be, ah, oh, it's totally washed out all the tiredness I had all day. This is the evening time, and usually I get really sleepy in the evening, but this is like, ah, oh, just uh, relax. It's comfortable, huh? It's yeah, a comfortable, yeah, yeah. relaxing tea. Yes. And for many people who are first time trying this tea, ooh, excitement is their sound. It's just, I've, yes. this is like just one of the staple in my tea set in traveling tea or in our personal like at home tea set it just has to be there yeah especially traveling i love this one when we're on the road 
It's so robust. I just love the form. Any of those ball shapes, like oolong, is always preferred. A lot of tea fits into a little space. Which <laughs> yeah. Is nice when you're traveling. Yes. I gave it a little rinse. You notice mm. there, um, so just to kind of get things opening up. Mm -hmm. And we're going to be don't rush the first infusion. Let that tea open up a little bit further. There's a lot of birds actions behind us. You know, there was a little family of like a vireo or something. They're just hopping everywhere. <laughs> a robin's nest off to our left. It's a really yeah. lovely uh, space here. Yeah. Funny thing though, we have this set. I bought this specially for our new uh, travel trailers. Um, but we also have a new uh, other travel Kung Fu set on the website, which you can check out. I'll put the link down. And most of them are in this kind of a form, which, um, how do you say? Like in English, I think. Uh, like a modified Kung Fu? Modified Kung Fu, mm -hmm. like with a Super filter. Fun filled in so you put the leaves in the filter basket and mm -hmm. leave that there it's actually this uh, form early times is in the early take a break just have a smell really really nice <sighs> floral oh wow sorry you gotta, gotta take those little <laughs> that's the moment well. just because after the f the smell i'm like okay i'm gonna take my teacup <laughs> yeah and that high I have to interrupt because this has a really high floral note, like a. <sighs> it has floaty, a little bit of chalky, chocolate bean. And it's going to be gone soon. Uh, that one doesn't last long, so you've got to get it when it's fresh on the hot guy one, but it doesn't mm. doesn't stick around. It has a little bit of chocolate bean smell, like the roast is more to chocolate bean. Sorry, coffee bean. What am I talking okay. about? I thought you meant cocoa bean. Um, cocoa. So I'm glad you no, actually, it's, a, actually it's a coffee bean. The lid or the uh, tea itself? Just the tea. Mm. Mm. Right? Yeah, mm. I guess we should be mindful. The tea is really fantastic, so don't take this the wrong way out there. But we're mm. not on our regular, our home water, which we're very baseline yeah. to. We're on, um, it, we did filter the, the, oh, it is our home water. Okay. <laughs> But it went into the tanks of the uh, of the airstream, our airstream Garfield, and then into another Brita, and then into our yes, cows, so. yes. It tastes different. Mm, really good. I was so thirsty. Oh my god, so good. But with this modified, I'll um, try not to be overly calm, which often happens with me in right. the evening with this tea. Yeah, and with this modified, I just wanted to say with the modified yes. Gong Fu, right, you just, the leaf is in, in here, you can just lift it out and put it on the side. I like to mm. just put the whole thing with the lid mm -hmm. on the tray, but you have an option to... Um, well, the design uh, is actually... Yeah. For this. Yeah. Mm. Which has a right Which our gradient uh, travel tea set also was designed. Usually this kind of design is a lid for the tray so that you don't make a mess. Uh, mm. You have a tea table, it's not a big concern, but you know, it just depends on personal preferences. Right. And sometimes when you're clumsy. outdoor, right, sometimes when you're outdoor, you want to minimize the mess so that it's less work to clean up. Mm. And then other times, you're, if you're like me and you're a little bit worried <sighs> about knocking this over, which I have to say, this is a really, it's a really large um, sort of lid that it's setting on, so it's mm. very stable. Um, it's not too tippy at all but I'm just like a little bit nervous about that. Mm. Yeah. Oh, that hit the spot. Oh, so good. Mm. I have to say, when I first sipped that, it was mostly that uh, I was talking about coffee being that roastiness. And now the, with it's ending, I think also the temperature slide to drop a little bit, that creamy floral start to emerge. Right, I'm the, the next, uh, now I know, oh, okay, okay, next a few infusions, I can expect something. Wow, uh, I'm really getting that same high note that I got on the lid is in the liquor too, like just that creamy floral. Mm -hmm. The high note was on the lid, the sort of lower notes and the... Uh, still has that roasty croissant mm. pastry kind of notion too, a little bit buttery. Yeah, yeah. I forgot. <laughs>
I outline the video. Okay, those are the points I want to chat about. Just now in the evening when I have tea, I'm like, what did I say I was going to say? We're going to do a cut. I need to regroup. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, re I thought you were doing one. I did a really long, stupid smile at the camera while you talked, and then I thought, but, but you can keep it. It looks cute. I'm just staring and smiling. And oh, you're so saying, good. Really good. I'm going to brew more. And I wanted to um, <laughs> just mention, too, that even though uh, these sets are great travel tea sets because they come with a really nice case and the tight packing that can really be, uh, that's tough, it, like it, you, I haven't dropped it yet, but if I dropped it, I wouldn't be too worried that it would break, uh, depending how high, but you know, just from my hand, should be a fine. It's really packed in there. Even though it's a travel tea set, it's a pretty cute set it, for a starter set too, I think. It would make a yeah, perfect... Yeah, we, we say, oh, it's a travel tea set, but you know, yeah. what's wrong with this, uh, having yeah. having this at home? Like, it's a pretty full set. You have you yeah. can enjoy that uh, Gong Fu style of, uh, you know, individual brewings, no issue. Yeah. I was just gonna, st <laughs> I just can't believe I, I totally forgot about this. But one of the reason I'm taking this, uh, uh, doing this video is because of the this little set. Ever since we started the business, like because tea is a part of my life, I literally bring that everywhere. So ever since we started, we always, besides having guidelines and teapots in the website, I always uh, carry some, um, travel tea set and this yeah, is yeah we like, make sure there's some travel sets on yeah, the website yes mm. so what you're seeing has been every year uh we don't restock what we sell out we have what we have and once it's out uh it's just out so this is generation one which you're not gonna see on the website anymore um, some of you have it Probably. Some of you will <laughs> probably have it. Recognize yeah. this little bit. Yeah, it's a, I love the its size and it's a compact, but this is the one I kept for just sentimental reasons. But as you can tell, why I don't use that. This is the guy one. <laughs> missing the lid. What well, what they don't see is Oh. There's nothing else. There's yeah, only yeah. a guy one left. Yes, the cups are okay, just the lid and the uh, saucer is all broken because you know when you're hiking and stuff, uh, oftentimes you find a, a rock and put that on and chips and stuff happen. So Chips happen, folks. <laughs> yes, the travel tea set, uh, the whole traveling part is well padded and stuff, but when I use it, uh, accidents still happen. Yep. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know. Well and it loved. has a little tray, metal tray, not as you know, like a, a bamboo as elegant, but I, I love it. A very minimalistic, uh, simple one. Yeah, cute. really functional. Come on, and this we, is a really cute. And it's okay, a bit size. like a pseudo Chaoshan style, right? Chaoshan so there's style, no, exactly. That's a straight up guy one, used to have a lid. So unlike this one where I've got the sort of a sharing pot, once I remove the leaf, I've got this little sharing pot on the go. The guy one becomes basically a sharing pot. This one, you had to do the little, four cup pour that's why i say pseudo chow shan yeah. right of one extra cup but that's okay and the guy one is perfectly was perfectly sized for that yeah. so that was we have that so many times on the trail in the winter in the yeah. summer yeah yeah it's kind of interesting that. when we started you barely hear about the travel tea sets or stuff like that but now it's more popular mm. right so it's great that the tea culture is growing get your tea in the outdoors and flex with your guy one <laughs> And this, the whole traveling Gong Fu set, or even simplified uh, this brewing idea, funny enough, it only started in early 2000. And the first one oh, really? was actually the black tea, because uh, they have that, um, it's called uh, Piao Yi Bei. The very first one looked like a tube, but it was pretty much like a lab thing. Then whole glass with a black tea in the middle so you can look at the leaf look at the liquor that was the initial design uh, like a test tube or something yes it really looked like that oh I'll, I'll show you when i get oh home. cool yeah i used to used to love that and later on it slowly slowly more developed and developed and did i mention that one was called the piao yi bei piao yi bei yeah yeah uh 
And then they have a more developed in the, around the 2010 ish. Start to have a new name is uh, called Kuai Ke Bei. Like this one, usually we consider that like Kuai Ke Bei. So quick, easy, uh, Cup. brew kind of thing. Yeah. Mm. Uh, and most of them are having this building filters. So you can take it out and have different brews. Yeah, so it's really the best of both worlds. You get the uh, the gung fu the gung fu infusion by infusion experience with the sort of uh, sort of simplicity, no finger burning going mm. on here. Mm. And most of the uh, material you will see on this kind of thing is uh, glass or porcelain, so it's very easy mm. to clean. Yeah, I usually just have a sponge, but because it's a travel tea set, which means your water source is very unreliable. Sometimes mm. very mineral, sometimes not. So mm -hmm. you will have a lot of build up. I actually, uh, I do use a soap to give it a good scrub if just the sponge doesn't work, mm. and uh, that's usually usually sufficient. Mm -hmm. Okay, every now and then, I do cheat with a magic eraser. Oh boy. Uh, okay, okay. With okay. lots of rinse. Lots of rinse and boiling water rinse. I just, just it's rare, but I, I confess. If you've, okay, if you've experienced that. mineral stains they on really, porcelain, you know what a, she's talking about. Yeah, it's, sometimes it's, it's really required. And sometimes it's not like a, like a, it's not in the cup, it's the bottom. Some, mm. uh, cause when we have those, uh, like, uh, especially the guy one, the ball, the bottom of this where it sits you ah, know the guy yeah. one rain that sits on the saucer it sits on the wet tea table and yeah. picks up just kind of absorbs the, right. the tea and the, the tea color and the mineral just glues that right yeah. to that little ring around the bottom yeah just well rains you know i mm. think it's not a big deal should be all right <laughs> so we've just got a fresh kettle and we'll hey. oh <laughs> Yeah, that's number oh, one yeah. mistake. Okay, number one okay, mistake. Okay, that's a good one. I'm glad we caught that. I have, and it's not the first time. Okay, I have yeah. to admit. I, Why I'm so like, hey, because I saw that before. It's not the first we time. We overflow that, and it's not just him. It's not her. It's I did just that me. Too. Oh, you did no, it. No, I did that too. Okay, because you set it home. down. You sometimes just put the. You see the leaf. You want to yeah. put the water on the leaf. Make sure you put the leaf back <laughs> into the guy one, especially if you're more familiar with sort of the regular guy one style. It's really easy to fall into I that trap. A, I made a mess that overflowed. Oh, I'm so kind of glad that got caught on the that's camera. That's why when I see that again, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god. So. As we mentioned earlier, <laughs> we're here at Cartwright Brewery mm. um, in our, I don't know if we mentioned this part, but we're in our brand new Airstream. And to kind of celebrate that and to kind of share, well, to keep this channel really focused on tea, but st we still want to share a bunch of our other adventures with you. Like we're, we love birding, we love RVing now. <laughs> mm. um, camping, traveling, hiking, mm -hmm. those kind of things. We have- And wellness. Because my personal like a like it's our like a hobby. And like you said in the um, in the I don't know if it was Instagram or and maybe the odd intercultural couple dispute settlements those kind of things. Only tips, no perks. Yeah, only <laughs> tips. There's no perks there. A lot of education for well, me. You never know. You know, like a RV, especially we're so new, so maybe the, a lot of quarrel, right? Just which it, I'm expecting that. Let's say so. some. Let's oh, say some. Okay, maybe okay, not okay, a lot. Okay. 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 So, um, yeah, so new channel, link down below in the description if you're interested in that kind of stuff. And we'll keep th the situation here really focused on tea for you guys because, uh, mm -hmm. well, this is our, our home channel, our home mm -hmm. base, you know, Gen T. The uh, other one is more like a hobby channel. Yeah, exactly. Wanna, exactly. Yeah. Yeah, I want to share some like wellness stuff. Mm. Like, you know, my style, like how I did the Elthinian videos. And there's more about those mm. little chemicals in tea kind of thing. Um, Lots of very cool stuff there. Yes. Um, we also talked about, well, we, we mentioned that we were hanging out with the owner here of Cartwright. Well, he did more than just hang out with us. He actually took us on a tour of the whole grounds here. Um, we climbed up uh, a, a ridge here to, to the lookout. He's got a trail up to this beautiful lookout that looks over the Ottawa Valley. Um, plenty of birds here. This is a, like a little treasure it's in a, the outskirts it's a of gem. Ottawa, right? Yes. Yeah. Like, We're um, only 30 minutes outside of uh, Ottawa. 
uh, yeah. roughly, I'm guessing. But, but that's there's so it. much happening here. They do camping. They have campsite here for families or groups. They have little. They have know, RV pads. If yeah. you want to uh, pop your RV here, you right. can probably just call him up and arrange that. Um, and they do beer. Really good beer, which I have personal. Okay, yeah, I have to admit I have personal like a bias. If you do flavor beer, mm -hmm. you know, uh, most of the time when we try that, it's like, you know, gimmicky. Yeah, yeah. It's a sack. So this is not. It actually tastes good. Yeah, it's no, even, really well It's done. hard to link to say. Uh, the ginger ale we tried. He has one called a ginger ale, which is yeah. what the way he described it is. It's it's Initial how ginger ale should be. It's ginger mm -hmm. and ale, and yes, really yes. good. But the name is terrifying for me because I'm like, mm -hmm. oh my gosh. But I taste it. I'm like, okay, okay. I can see it's a, it's actually worth tasting, like a tasting, not just a, a little, uh, you know, cheerful little thing. Yeah, and so, I should t say for the beer lovers out there, um, most of the beers are not flavored. Uh, mm, the vast mm. majority of his beers are straight up great lagers, IPAs, etc. Mm. Awesome. I don't know if you can see it. There he goes right there. So yeah, mo I'm just gonna, gonna go, probably yeah. it sounds fine. So most of the beers are really, uh, just really a great porter um, with uh, maple, made with maple sap. Mm. Um, and you know. Which is also surprising for me, because we drink saps, right? Yes, and love I it. Don't, I would expect something sugary. I, I should have no yeast to eat sugar. Right. You wouldn't be sweet, but just something that is a very tasty beer with an interesting twist that doesn't pull that to the other side of a, yeah, too no, much. Really kind good. Of thing. So really good. I'm impressed. And not to mention, there's so many little things to tug it around in a oh, little. Oh, he's a sculptor. Yeah. So for one of his hobbies, he does sculpture. He's got these be this beautiful, like sort of twisted Mobius, beautifully crafted uh, yeah, piece of wood. Yeah, yeah. He carves marble. And there's um, a mushroom grow there. Mushrooms grow here. When we talk about here. food, yeah. all kinds of tasting notes and stuff, you know, like it's just a, uh, kind of like our type of uh, people into the same yeah, similar yeah. kind of thing. So we had a really nice chat and walk. And yeah, we're definitely coming back. Uh, mm. we, I suggest if you're ever in the area or even if you're not, I would plan a trip to the area. There's plenty of stuff to do around here and you know, this is a great gem if you're a camper, RVer, or you just want to visit a brewery and sip some beer. There's a, a kitchen associated with the uh, brewery. So if you have an event you want to host, he can host events for like 20, 30 people and more. Um, so really fantastic Those are venue. Those runs of the kitchen. Can you imagine that? Yeah, Whoa. Just amazing. Yeah. So that is Cartwright. This is the travel tea set we're using today. There's plenty more on our website mm. down below. Check them out. See if there's one that tickles your fancy that the, you know, it's really personal, right? Mm. I love, I have to say, I have, I don't have zero to do with the tea accessory selection, but she does all the vetting and I just look over this list of exquisite selections and kind of we have to pick, pick and choose and it's really, she makes it really hard. She does a great job. Um, I didn't pick that based on what I feel like I wanted. Okay, I yeah. wanted them all. I shouldn't. That's why I'm, you know. She's not allowed calm. to keep them all. Yes. I'm here as a me as a control measure <laughs> on that. But every now and then we we keep one. We have to replace as the old yeah. as the old folks move yeah. on. The new folks take yeah. their place. And I try to use my like uh, the brewing kind of experience to rule out the, those ones that I don't think is practical. I try to think as much as possible, like as those set to be used mm. at home as well as a travel. You know, not to burn on hand. Mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. design looks more easy practical. clean. Easy clean, Very always important. my priority. Very important. <laughs> so yeah, check them out, and I uh, hope you pick it up. And most importantly. With or without our tea or accessories or anything, go out, enjoy. Yeah, get out there and gung fu nature. anywhere. Yeah. So listen guys, that about wraps it up. We're gonna keep brewing this because it's still got plenty of life in it, but we're gonna say bye for now. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up. Any questions or comments, we'd love to hear from you down below. Uh, don't be shy uh, if it's about tea, if it's about gung fu, if it's about travel sets, whatever, put it down below. Tap that like button, really helps us out. If you're interested in our other channel, subscribe to that channel too. Um, and until next time, keep steeping. Keep steeping. <laughs>